r slash ask reddit by redmond ets what is the dumbest thing men associate their masculinity with not wearing sunscreen i can't count the number of times people seem shocked i'm wearing it my grandpa was nervous about his hearing aids being too feminine fellas is it gay to hear I said I'm gonna get some drinks and got called gay, because saying drinks instead of a drink wasn't masculine enough. Not going to a doctor when something seems wrong. Not protecting yourself from easily mitigated hazards. Silicosis risk. Dust mask. Driving. Seat belt. Skin cancer. Sunscreen. Imagine thinking you're tougher than the freaking sun. Trying to crush someone's hand when handshaking. There is a difference between greeting and assault. Lacking hygiene. I've encountered guys who bragged about never washing their hands. I specifically remember seeing some opinion piece shared on Facebook about how women tend to prefer men who take care of their skin. First comment was some boomer posting a selfie saying, I've never used moisturizer, this is what a real man looks like. Setting aside that this dude predictably looked like a sunburnt dipshit, it was such a pathetic thing to be proud of. I've come to find guys just come up with that real men don't blank line as a way to compensate for them not knowing how to do basic functions. Cooking? A woman's job. Cleaning? A woman's job. Sewing? Dressing well? Eating healthy? Skin care? Hair care? Apparently not for real men. Wearing certain colors. I got myself a mint colored hoodie and my mother asked me if it was really male clothing. Sorry for not picking black, gray, dark, blue or brown lol. Being an incompetent father. You have four kids and you've never changed a diaper? That's not a brag dude. Their vehicle. I don't know. There is something off about actively wanting to drive a Kia Rio. I drove a Ford car for years and used to absolutely cherish the looks of disdain, pity and secondhand embarrassment from other young male drivers. It was extra sweet knowing I was paying literally a small fraction of what they paid for insurance. Size of their dong. I just tell everyone it's small. If they ever see it, they will either be impressed at what I consider small or they will know I'm telling the truth. It's a win-win situation. Not showing emotion. My dad will claim he doesn't need an umbrella because real men don't need them. Okay dad. Guns. As a man who not only owns a firearm for sport shooting but has also been shot in a combat zone, I don't get why some dudes think their manliness depends on the number of lethal weapons in their homes. It's a fetish for guys like that, and it's creepy. Revving fire engine loudly. Or perhaps how much they can drink. Trying to bang every woman that shows you affection. I have some amazing female friends who happen to be very attractive. I can't even count the number of times I've been called gay because I'm not trying to sleep with them. So silly. Not caring about skincare. I'm an aesthetician and seeing so many men laugh about how feminine it is to wash your face or wear sunscreen is frightening. The inability to do basic household chores. There was that whole interview with that weasel Ben Shapiro where they are all bragging about how they don't know how to operate their washing machine cause their wife does it. Dude, being too incompetent or lazy to use a basic bit of machinery doesn't make you more of a man. Fighting. No one gives a crap. It's cringy once you're out of high school. It's cringe even in high school. Eating meat. Outdoing others. Never being in the wrong or at fault. Showing any form of weakness. That's is better to try and keep going when things get too much, and getting help would be unmanly. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.